Hey YouTube, uh, thought I'd give you a run around the truck. I've got to clean the camera. So, echo body, ah, uh, echo truck, book a body. I just got to clean the camera in the hopper. Show you how to do that. <coughs> It's dirty every day when we wash it. We can see the rubbish better. So, got your arm to fuel uh, tool tank. Julie's, this is only an 18 meter body, it's a smaller body than the rest. Back, bloke backed into a rock, fuel tank, battery, had blue air tanks. So, there, yeah, it's a truck, not very comfortable. So, Jill steer, when we got to drive back to the tip, we're on that side, picking up on this side. Controls, on, pack a start, side light, reverse light, beacon, joystick, cameras. So, see the cameras, choose whichever one we want. bit loose. Steering wheel, knob, blinkers, uh, retarder. I have a GPS because I don't remember shit I don't care about so I don't know what street I'm in. I just go off landmarks. So pick up some bins. You line up with the mirror, some people turn their heads, I line the mirror up because you turn your head too much it wrecks your shoulder from getting tight. Doing a rural run today, so I just stopped down the end of this road, had a bit of a break. Sometimes when you're too far out, you got to look out the window to get the bin. Apparently this truck's got a bigger motor in it. It's 300 and 320, 350 horsepower. The bigger trucks that we got are only got like 280s in them. So this thing's a little rocket. Allison transmission.
Bibi Bar. two loads today it's the um, one Friday run where oh, since lockdown happened where most of the runs we're doing two or three loads like full loads this has always been a two load run pick up in one area chip off and we go back to another area Cross with another truck. Drive clock. Well, quarter past seven. I've done 421 bins. I think I'll do up all up about eight. Uh, Six, seven, eight. Do about 850, 900 bins today. Where the other runs only do about five to 600. We um, swap runs every week. So you get the good with the bad. No one person getting the good all the time. A bit of hesitation there. And if the arms registered that it's out, that cuts the power to the truck. Then the auto reach and the auto retract brings the arm back in. Sometimes it's not even a millimetre and it does that. It gets frustrating some days. As you can see, I'm barely wide enough for the road.
every day we come here. Puppies come and meet us. There's one dog on another run. Every morning, it comes out and attacks the arm. It scares the shit out of you. So one day I went down the window and I barked at it and it piss bolted. Didn't see it for a while after that. <laughs> up and complains. Oh well, we got a photograph of it's not out. Other options there in the menus. Um, I was doing one of the other runs one morning and I was coming down this dirt road and I could see this figure in the middle of the road was before we got our driving lights and then it disappeared and I'm thinking the hell was that anyway finish turned around a couple of k's up the road come back and there was a wedgie and this bastard would add two meter wingspan on it I've never seen a wedgie that big in my life and a certain the area that we go out there is very much of a if you want to go missing no one's going to find you and there, we could see this shadow. I made sure the doors were locked that day. Well, 
actually um, the different run again on the rural during winter freezing. I come up, hit a bin, or went to grab the bin and punched it into the gully. So I had to get out and pick it up. As I got out and picked it up, the resident come up behind me. I definitely swirled like a girl that day. Scared the absolute shit out of me. I think there was a bit of poo coming out of me bum. So as far as we go, turn around and go back to semi-civilization. is to throw the bastard and mulch it or burn it. Bin full of corrugated iron. Yeah, great. Just what I needed. Uh, see the corrugated iron there? That's the side of the packer. It always packs out on that side first. 